Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Bijoy Kanderia, who's Director of Echocardiographic Laboratories at Aurora St. Luke's Medical Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So do you mind telling us a bit about how you uh, came up to be a cardiologist, go into medicine? Sure. So uh, all along when I was finishing my medical school in Baroda, India, I wanted to go to the Mayo Clinic. And I got an opportunity, but I didn't know that the journey to the Mayo Clinic wasn't like just landing there. So I ended up in New York, started my residency, uh, worked pretty hard, got a fellowship at Mayo Clinic, and I thought I had reached Nirvana. I was going to be at Mayo Clinic, only to realize that Mayo Clinic, they don't, you can't apply for a job. And I was fairly lucky that I got all the right votes and I did all the right things. So I ended up at Mayo Clinic. The reason I ended up in cardiology was also a mistake. My father had Parkinson's disease, so I wanted to be a neurologist to find cures to Parkinson's disease, only to realize that neurology was the most boring piece of part of medicine that ever existed. And I came across several big names in cardiology at Hammersmith, and I got interested in cardiology and then the rest is history. I said, this is what I want to be. I worked towards that. And being at Mayo in cardiology was a very coveted position for me. What advice would you give to a young um, or budding health professional today? Simple advice. This is still the most noble profession. At these times when there are epidemics, pandemics, that you realize what value you bring, not only yourself, the society, but also those who are really sick. To all the healthcare professionals who your, your audience is, don't give it up. It always pays off. That's great advice. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raise the Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.